everyone, this is me again, coming to you guys with a quick um, teaching message. I'm going to say it's greatest fear, your prayer life. And that is why I just be trying to tell a lot to you guys, you know, you know, especially my young, young people who, who, who I'm the spiritual advisor, a lot of you guys watching this. And you guys just always, I try to tell you this all the time, and I, I, I live by example, by putting prayer up six days a week, um, prayer and, and affirmations on Instagram, Facebook, because prayer is everything. You know, Jewish people, Hindu people, Muslim people, um, a lot of prayers is key. Now, it has some people who don't have any faith and, you know, they don't believe in, in God, don't believe in anything, and they're successful, and that's okay. But it's just few of them. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. But majority of the people out here believe in some type of um, religion or something, or believe in a higher power or something. So I am talking to, to the people that who don't realize Satan's greatest fear is your prayer life and, and because you guys are not praying. And I talk about this all the time. I have a lot of you guys that are not going to give no number, but a lot of you guys are just knowing all they're in problems because all they doesn't be praying. All they just go back. A lot of you guys just get comfortable. I talk about that in a video one time. Try not to get too comfortable. You know, and that's why a lot of you guys, I'll give you guys a heads up. I tell you guys about certain things that's going to happen because I only see the future. I'm a seer. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to see everything 100%, but I'm 90% on point. I have a 90% track record. You know? So, I stay in my lane. I'm not going competition with anyone. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So, that's how it is. And as we come in to try to tell you guys a lot of things, I mean, you know, because I see we're not prepared for the future. We're not, we're not ready. We're not ready for the future. A lot of us is going to be left behind. A lot, a lot of things is going to happen in, in, in the next in the next two to five years. You know, things is not going to get cheap. It's just going to get more costly, more homelessness, more different things. You understand? People can't afford to pay rent. Rent could be average. Rent could be three, three, three to four thousand dollars. The average rent could be three, four thousand dollars. Talking about regular, I'm talking about no nice bougie areas. And a bougie areas might be ten grand by that time, but regular areas where you're paying twenty five hundred rent. Two to three from now, that rent is going to be four thousand. You know, a loaf of bread is going to be, it's going to be like thirty dollars. You know what I mean? Eggs, thirty to thirty-five dollars a dozen. A lot of you guys not ready for for those kind of. What is I'm telling you guys? And you guys know I I don't play. I don't exaggerate. I don't believe in conspiracy. I believe in science. I believe in medicine. But I'm telling you guys about future inflation, and I've been trying to get a lot of you guys to prepare all yourself. A lot of you guys are not ready for not ready for prime time. And to my young people out here, you guys do not pray. You guys are not giving God 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the, in the afternoon and before you go to bed. Just 30 minutes. You can give God, the ancestors, whoever you believe in, 30 minutes. And you on your cell phone for hours, wasting time. You understand what I'm saying? Huh? Wasting time. And you're not tapping in, you know. How you expect your spirit guides and them to, to want to help you? How you expect your spirit guides and them to want to give you messages? Some of you guys only want to, to pray whenever things bad. 90% of you guys only want to pray whenever you want to dig yourself out of a hole. When you're in a hole and, and, and then only going depressed, you're sad. And then some only sit down watching the whole world passing you guys back. And I keep trying to tell you guys, you have to put yourself out there, you know. So again, you guys have to, to have to pray. I stand by that right through. You know? When I see you guys hit me up and whatever it is and, and this happened and that happened, because I know you're not praying. And that's why Satan um Satan will come in. All kind of negative energy, all kind of funny, all kind of people you're gonna run into, you're gonna attract all kind of um, stuff and the reason why you guys need to stay um um in prayer you know what i'm saying and, and stop letting satan um infiltrate in, in your life you know the reason why you pray is to arm you up is to arm you up for you to be alert for you to understand discernment so you will feel you will know when something is wrong when something is off you're gonna feel it your prayers help connect 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 
with the higher power um, to send you messages so that you will you'll be alert. And when you get the first information, the first message, that is it. You know, it is hit here just like that. You just got a feeling. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you see me like someone roll up, you know something is wrong. You can't put your fingers on it. You know something is wrong. Same thing, you ladies out here, when only meet a man, you know the man all good, but you all still, still trying to see what they could try and change your mind. Some people like to fix people up. That's some men like to fix um, people. Especially my Vogos. You guys know, men and women, you all love to fix people. You all are the queens, queens and kings are, are, are love to fix people in relationship. You know? So... It has some things you guys can avoid, and that is why a lot of you guys doesn't pray. I've seen a lot of you guys um, pray and stuff in the beginning, but six months later, you guys um, fall back, fall off, because you're not praying. And then all they're saying, all they're depressed, all they're sad. No, because if you all open up all the curtains and, and start to say your prayers and different things like that, and put on some music and stuff, lighten up the place, open up all the stuff, you all cooked up all, in, all inside, and no. you got to open up the windows and stuff, bring light in and stuff like that. Put on some nice little music and stuff to get you guys out of the funk and say your prayers. So I hope this makes sense, guys, man. And uh, don't let Satan come in to try to infiltrate. Stay in your prayer group. And if you guys need prayers, don't forget to click, click, um, click the link and, and send a message. And I'll gladly love to pray for you guys. You know? But we'll call the team, Spiritual Fixer Family Team, to pray for you guys because we need prayers. We need prayers in this world. This 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 year is going to be crazy. It means summer yet, and the place done crazy already. Look what's going on. A lot of things. I warn you guys about TikTok. I warn you guys about the, the war. The different everything. I warn you guys way in advance. A year, two years in advance. You guys know when I when I predict stuff, my stuff just be crazy. When I tell you guys something, tell you ladies and stuff, stay from certain men. All they go on still with the men. Tell you guys your husband cheating, this one cheating. All they watch more kind of sideways, all looking crazy. And guess what? All 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 this had to come right back with all the tail between all the legs for me to try to fix it. Yeah, that time it's too late. I can't fix it. Because I told you guys in advance. You know? So stay pray up, guys, man. Don't let Satan infiltrate. And everything will be okay. Okay? I hope this makes sense. Thank you guys, man. Love you. Alright? Bye.